I see a lot of shooters at the range not pushing themselves. Hi, I'm Doug Caney. I want to give you a few tips or insights on how to progress as an action shooter. I see lots of shooters at the range so worried about shooting tight groups, and that's important within certain time limits, especially if you're shooting action pistol, NRA action pistol, or bullseye. But if you want to be better at speed shooting, you have to learn how to push the limit a little bit, push yourself. I recommend at this point you make sure you have a timer. If you don't have a timer from a manufacturer, there is free apps for your smartphones. Get a timer so you can kind of regulate, see where you are on your first shots, your double taps, your build drills, your target to target. When you're working on your target to target drill, or even your one shot drills, or any one of those specific drills I've talked about in the previous, is you want to push yourself to where your groups start to open up, okay? Pushing the speed, pushing your draw, pushing everything. As that starts to happen, work at that area a little bit. Even maybe work at that area to where you might have a miss or two. Now you kind of know where the threshold is. You can look at your timer. You know, an example would be on a build drill. If you're doing them in two and a half seconds and you're shooting a nice tight group all the time and you start to push and push and push and all of a sudden you're at 175 and you're starting to get some misses, now is when you learn how to just start to slightly back off to where you can have a reasonable group at what you're trying to do, okay, and then still keep that time down. If you never push yourself or work at that speed, at that 1.7, and I'm just using that as the example of what I gave you, that percentage speed difference, if you're not working in that area, you'll have no idea what that feels like, what it looks like visually to help you advance as a speed shooter. Okay, so what I like to do when I get to the range, I set up my targets, I do my, my normal warm up, my one shots, my two shots, my target to target, then I start pushing. I start seeing what I can do on my double taps or build drills or my target to target, keeping them tight because I'm all about accuracy. But I start pushing it until maybe I'm shooting between the targets on my multiple target drill. Maybe my groups are opening up and I start working at that area, pushing, 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 stay there for a little bit and then at, by the end of the practice I work myself back down a little bit. If you continue to do that every practice session, you will see your overall times start to slowly get faster and faster, okay, because of the repetition and working in that area. It's going to feel a little uncomfortable, okay, that's part of pushing your limit is working out of your comfort zone for a little space of time. So get yourself to the range, work on some of these drills. If you're looking for a place to shoot, go to NSSF's website at wheretoshoot.org and always remember, firearm safety depends on you.